Wow, look at this place. It's my very own hero hall. I love it. Wow, your own official office. It's very fitting for Mosswood's hero. Over there is your brand new office chair and desk. That's where you can sit and make new town wishes. Oh my gosh, I get to guide the town? Jeez, everybody must be very, very excited about the fact that I actually saved the world from the Dark Wizard already, and we are rebuilding this empty plot of land into a thriving community of Mosswood. Uh, to the point where, like, I can guide the town with my wishes? Can we cover everything in plants? That plaque on the wall is also very important. You can view Mosswood's town beauty score. Well, Siri, check it out. Are you kidding me? Town beauty. Increase your town beauty by having more buildings and decorations. Also, clean up those weeds. <gasps> Messy? No, no, look, we've gained a lot. <gasps> and when you gain more beauty, you gain more flowers? Yes! <gasps> We're a beautiful town. Oh my gosh. That's much easier than dealing in another life with a certain Isabel. That's so cool. So that's town beauty. Town wishes purchased. We also have the houses, how many trees and things are here. This is really cute. And here's where I can make town wishes using dew drops. Plus two crops allowed, plus two a chance to catch an extra bug, plus 15 town decor added, plus two fruit trees allowed. Town wishes refresh every Wednesday and Saturday. That is so cool. Um, I think if I had to pick something, I think we need, hmm, I do declare more Cliff carrots, maybe? Maybe I want to hold on to my money for a second, actually. I gotta think about this. And then apparently we can upgrade our town to unlock new town wishes. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, that sounds really important. I think maybe I should go ahead and donate some dewdrops to start upgrading my office. And I've got to think about my wishes right now, Willow. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm working on a new and exciting blueprint. But it's not quite finished yet. Okay, mysterious, but I appreciate the hard work you're doing. So not gonna complain. And meanwhile, we have a new town resident down here named Bugsby. Thanks for building, or Bubsby. Bug, Bugs, Bub, Bubsy. There we go, Bubsy. Sorry, Bubsy. I love his expression. Very neutral. Thanks for building me a house, hero. Why don't you come over for a cup of tea? That sounds wonderful. All right, I'll just meander right in then. You have literally nothing in your house, sir. Hmm. This is smaller than I'm normally used to, but I think it'll do. Living in the same town as our hero is a nice perk. Well, for the rest of today, I'll be shampooing my feathers. Perhaps tomorrow we can walk around Mount Mosswood together. Oh, cool! Do you know how- do you know much about fashion trends in Solemn? This scarf is a statement about my intellect and individuality. I really love that actually. Here, friend. Since you're new here, I should definitely try to give you some of the essentials, like a nice plain bed. Um, just gonna tuck that right over here. And since you seem to be a man of culture, let me see if I can get you a bookshelf. So we'll put a little bookshelf in the corner. There we go. And now I think I need to cut down a couple trees because I'm kind of low on supplies. All right, I love how they repeat everything and I'm just gonna imagine it's because I have a bad memory <laughs> because of what the wizard did to me. So like everybody doesn't mind repeating themselves a few times for the poor hero since you know what happened to her memory. It's just tragic. All right, can I actually use that as a path? Okay, I need to make it at least too wide, got it. All right, let's do that. And then let's go ahead and lower here and here. Okay, and then elevate here. All right, let's see. Let's try this again. Yes! Okay, so I can get up to the other side of the marketplace from behind now. And we can come over. I hate to cut down the trees. Hopefully they'll regrow. Grab some trees. I love my very full marketplace that we have down here. And I think that covers pretty much everything that I can do for now. I already... Yeah, I already committed what I could to constructing upgrades everywhere. I think I might need to take some of these wood pieces that I'm carting around and turn them into lumber. And then I want to make sure that both Dudley and Digsby have places to stay. Or like they, that they have stuff. Oh, I got a bonus item! Sweet! 
that they have stuff in their house because I don't think I gave them enough stuff in their house yet. All right, so let's wiggle over here. Yeah, Dudley, I bet he wouldn't mind a bookshelf. I feel like everybody should have at least one bookshelf. <laughs> you know, it just seems polite to have at least one bookshelf. So we're gonna give him a bookshelf and I don't even think that poor Digsby even has a bed. So I'm gonna make sure that I give him a bed. And then I'll go ahead and go to sleep. It's been a full day. Yeah, or Dalton, not Digsby, oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, Dalton, it's the bad memory. Uh, we'll go ahead, let's put Dalton's bed right in the middle. And then, would he like a, a bookshelf? I hope. There we go. We'll give him a bookshelf too. Maybe I can give him a few extra bookshelves. And let's actually go inside and see what Willow's house looks like. Because if she doesn't... <gasps> I don't have anything for her! Oh, I feel so bad. Willow, you've been sleeping just like in the middle of nowhere. Come on, you need to speak up for yourself. Alright, let's go ahead and get her. Uh, like a nice little bookshelf that I'm gonna put maybe right there. All right, there's a lot of tidying up I need to do in everybody's homes, but I'm glad that they're prepared for now. All right, meanwhile, sleep time. All right, let's see what tomorrow happens to hold. Definitely becoming better friends with pretty much everybody. Might need to walk around town and do a little bit of work with some people. Definitely leveling up and becoming extremely proficient at merchanting. Pretty proud about that, to be honest. Yay! And I got a good night's sleep and now I'm feeling creative. We'll have to see what that means. I'm from Dudley. Dear Siri, those gobbies love eating weeds, don't they? Congrats on leveling, uh, on getting to level 10 in merchanting. Yay! Thank you! And I think on Fridays, um, the town wishes actually change. Is what it said, so let me see. Yeah, it looks like Wednesdays and Saturdays, gotcha. All right, so I'm still not 100% sure about the town wishes. Mm, I kind of feel like chance to catch an extra bug would be cute, but let's see what the crops and fruit trees can do first. Also, can I level up my office? I can. Let's give some wooden planks to my office. So cute. <gasps> Look, and we have another slime apple, yay. I don't think these actually need tilled ground. So let's try to put another slime apple. Yes. I really love the, the slime apple trees. I'm going to be honest. I think they're really cool. So, oh, and what does this do? Oh, that's right. This is what it tells us like all sorts of things we can do in town. Okay. Going to keep an eye on that. Heck, so much going on. Hey, Dalton. Remember that time we found a treasure chest in the Deerbrose desert? A whole airship was buried under the sand. Then we got attacked by that enormous dune worm, all thanks to me. We sure had a grand adventure together, Siri. Oh, I wish I remembered. I don't, but thank you for reminding me, Dalton. Also, let's see what we've got here. We could buy, well, can't buy the artsy carpet, but if we wanted to help him upgrade things, we just need plain bricks. <gasps> yes, and we got a dulce coin, whatever that does. All right, my first task is town hero of the day. I'm gonna go ahead before I try catching any bugs or anything. Let's come talk to everybody. Hey, Dudley. One of the most important blueprints is the desk. Building one for, build one, uh, building one for a townsfolk will let you see their request for their home. <gasps> so they can give me a little request to update their little homes? Dudley! I think that Dalton, I think that Dalton fellow will give you a desk blueprint eventually. I really want that from Dalton. That would be so cool. All right, meanwhile, let's upgrade both of these places. Let's have Dalton follow us around today then. Maybe we can be like, hint, hint. I definitely wanted a desk. <laughs> I would love to see how everybody wants their own individual little houses all upgraded. Come on, Dalton. I'm gonna compliment you today. You're so cool, Siri. And you're really good at giving compliments. And you're gonna come hang out with me, friend. All right. We're gonna catch some fish together. That's a minnow, just in case you didn't know that friend. And then we'll catch some bugs together because you gave me a bug net. There we go. Let's get him. Got him, a flutterfly. Oh, that sounds really cool. And then we might even like chop down a tree or two together. All right, he's not finding anything extra just yet, but that's okay. Here, let's go check out the marketplace together, friend. How's it doing? Pretty good. 
We've got a whole bunch of dewdrops. I might be able to use those somehow. We can put down a couple fish, a couple bugs, and more of these weeds. Excellent. I think that's a good haul. Meanwhile, our little cliff carrots are growing well. All right, we'll gather this. Oh, I think if I'm careful, I can actually just let the trees stay. <gasps> I didn't notice, but they become a little smaller. Oh, I really hope I can like, can I have some sort of fancy earthbending power to get more trees, please? <laughs> okay, I need more, I need more fruit to be able to make more slime apples. I think I have really done a bit of a naughty thing if I didn't notice that you could actually take off the tops of the trees just a little bit off the top, like so. Yay, and he found some dewdrops, sweet. Without destroying the tree. That's really cool. I wish I had noticed that sooner. Hey, Bubs uh, Bubsy. Good morning, Siri. I've come up with, uh, I've come up with exactly what moss would need. Gone are the days of your townsfolk eating plain slime apples, twigs, and rocks. A tavern? Okay, a tavern sounds amazing. I actually really want to build that maybe like right over here. So, Dalton, behold my powers and maybe be inspired to build me a desk, please. Let's do this. All right, hopefully the tavern will fit over here. Whoops, okay, well that's fine. I'm sure we didn't need some of those things. All right, we can even kind of shave that path in there. Whoops, grassy earth and tavern. Cool, I could fit it over here. I need a little more space. All right, elevate. Okay, I can do this. Wonderful. All right, so we've got a little more space there and I think I'm gonna go ahead and destroy that path and elevate this over here so that it's just all nice and con connected. And then we'll do this instead so that one half will lead to his house and then the other half will lead to our little tavern. Yay! Okay, hopefully that'll work out. I don't have, oh, I need more wooden planks. All right, we're gonna fix that. Onwards to get the wooden planks. We're probably going to like redesign this town so many times. That's fine. It'll happen, it'll happen. Oh, he finds some dewdrops while we're doing those kinds of tasks too. That's really cool. All right, now we've got a whole bunch of wooden planks. And now I know I can just shape a little off the top of the trees without 100% destroying them. I really hope I can get more trees. <laughs> oh, I really, really, really hope there's a way to get more trees. All right, now, behold, the tavern. Hopefully they'll have excellent fruit juice there. Boom, okay, and then while I'm here, let's actually, okay, no. Let's come down here. All right, all right, and then let's try flooring. Okay, I need to move it over one more. There we go. And then one more, nice. All right, so now we have a little path to the tavern over here. And check this out. Oh my, you did a great job with this tavern. This will be where my, we create many masterpieces. My mind is racing with the possibilities. There are so many recipes to discover. You know, if you try hard enough, you could be the second best chef in all of Solom. I, of course, will always be the best chef. Let me show you how to properly cook in our new tavern. This is where you can add ingredients to mix together and discover new recipes. This is called a bubble pot. It's one of our three methods of cooking. Just interact with it to mix two of your active ingredients together. This is the food pantry where you can see your current dishes for sale. Every day the townsfolk will eat a dish and leave behind dewdrops. <gasps> I can cook for my town and they'll pay me? That sounds adorable. Over here is your collection of discovered recipes. Once you discover a new recipe, you can instantly cook it again here. Well, go on and have a look around. 
<gasps> that sounds so cool. So our little food pantry where we have things to sell. Hair and bubble hut, sizzle pan, and chop board recipes. 40 of each, which sounds ridiculously cute. And I have, unfortunately, nothing other than weeds that I can put together right now. <laughs> which is a big pity. Um, and then I can also upgrade the tavern, so we're going to start doing that. And if we upgrade the tavern enough, we get a sizzle pan, a chop board, and increased chance of cooking a masterpiece. <gasps> what? That would be really cool. All right, so I, I can't make a recipe with those ingredients. I should try other combinations. All right, so apparently I can't use these. Oh, so you add the ingredients over here, and then you take them out over here. Gotcha. Each day, some of the dishes in your food pantry will turn into dewdrops. Cooking is a great way to get rich. Oh, I can't wait to start cooking. That's gonna be so much fun. Heck, this is just turning out to be so freaking adorable and awesome. Uh, I should probably go ahead and get a little bit of sleep soon, but let's do a tiny bit more fishing with our friend Dalton and hopefully he'll think about that desk I really want him to get. Nice, caught a minnow. Ooh, there's actually a lot of things up here. A flutter, ah, it's so late now. All right, Dalton, you and I have fished together. We have shaved the top off of mini trees together. Now it's time to say adieu. Good night. Did you know that you can turn ores into bars at the smelter? Wood can be crafted into planks at the lumber mill too. That sounds amazing. All right, let's go ahead and crawl into bed. It's been a big day with lots of accomplishments. Did I not talk to Willow the whole day? <gasps> I feel really bad. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't talk to Will the whole day. Oh dear. Well, I'm feeling energetic today. Hopefully that'll play out well. Dear Siri, nice job with hitting level three and fishing. I'm working on my form so I can cast my line out further. From the gobble, I got a gobble nook. Dear Siri, I tried fishing this morning, but nothing was biting. I'm throwing my bobber right on top of them. From Dalton. Dear Siri, hmm, I'm starting to enjoy living here in Mosswood. And he, a bit of meteorite. What does this guy carry with him? I can't believe he has a bit of meteorite just to share with me. That's amazing. All right, let's shave the tops off these little trees for just a minute. Maybe I'll make a big lake behind my house just for a little while so that I'll be able to do all of the fishing that my heart desires and that can also help us grow the town. But since it's Saturday, let's come in and see. All right. Five dewdrops found while hanging out with Willow, plus five dewdrops found while hanging out with Willow, plus one bug spawn chance, plus two fruit trees allowed. So we can make cool new wishes over here. Oh, that's so fun. Wow. And then I can work on upgrading my little office over here too. I love this, you guys. It really is the hero's hall and now the hero's tavern and who knows what else is ahead of us for our heroics. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our cliff carrots. Yes, our cliff carrots are ready. I wonder how I can get more though. How do I get more seeds? I want more seeds than that. Oh, I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Uh, but do please leave a like for our cliff carrots and our newfound friendships. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.